Hi, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET Premium Preparation Providers, which means we are experienced and skilled in what we do, helping people achieve success in the OET exam. So in today's video, we're going to look at the strategies to help you with reading part B. And we'll take a look at some example questions. And these come from our online course, Reach OETB. For more information, check out the links below. In today's video, we will look at an overview of reading part B, how to approach part B, and study tips to help you prepare for the exam. Here you can see an overview of the reading exam. We are going to focus on part B in this video. And the papers for part B and C will be given together in the exam and you'll have 45 minutes to do both parts. So what's the exam format for part B? In part B there will be six short texts and each will be about approximately 100 to 150 words in length. There are six questions, one for each text, and all of the questions are three option multiple choice questions. Reading part B will begin with this set of instructions. How should you approach part B? Let's look at some of the ways to help you with reading part B. First, read the question to understand the context. Think about underlining the key words. Then read the three options and notice the differences between them. Then read the text and look out for links to the options. When you decide why one option is correct, you can confirm this by noticing why the other options are incorrect. Be careful because there may be distractors where all three options are mentioned in the text but only one will fully answer the question. So here we have an example of a part B question. You can see the title at the top of the text, Controlled Drug Changes, Tramadol Changes. And this outlines the type of information you will find in the text. Now read the question, which states, changes in the way tramadol was prescribed meant that... So we know we have to look for the result of the changes that have been implemented. If we look at the first option, there were more restrictions put in place regarding the drug. We understand that we are looking for information that supports that there has been an increase in the restrictions put in place. Option B says the drug could no longer be prescribed under Schedule 3. So this is more specific than option A and you will need to find information that supports this change for this to be the correct answer. And finally, you have option C. The format of quantities in the prescriptions changed. The difference with this option is that it is referring specifically to the format of the quantities in the prescriptions. Now read through the text and choose the option which you think fits best. The correct answer is A. Let's look at why A is the correct answer. So here, the text states that all prescriptions will have to comply with the CD schedule requirements from the 10th of June 2014. And underneath, we can see that restrictions have been outlined. Prescriptions will now only be valid for 28 days after issue, and that the quantity should not exceed 30 days. It also states that batch repeat prescriptions will no longer be prescribed and that tramadol cannot be prescribed using the electronic prescription service. So these examples and the text as a whole clearly illustrate how more restrictions have been put in place. And so option A is the correct answer. Let's look at why option B is incorrect. So at the end of the text here, it states that tramadol as a Schedule 3 control drug cannot be prescribed using EPS. So option B is incorrect. If we look at the text here, we can see that it states that the quantity prescribed must be written in words and figures. 
However, it does not specify whether this is a change or reiterating what must be done to comply with CD schedule requirements. So option C is also incorrect. Let's take a look at another example question. So the text contains information about guidelines for swallow screening in the management of patients with stroke. And the question is, swallow screening after a stroke is an important text which, followed by the three options. So we want to know what the swallow screening test does. Option A focuses on monitoring the risk of swallowing and speech problems. Option B is quite different and it mentions that the test checks the level of fluid restrictions for swallowing problems. The last option talks about specifically identifying patients who need further assessment of dysphagia. Now read through the text and choose the answer which you think fits best. And the correct answer is C. Let's look at why. At the beginning of the text, we can read that the screening process is used to identify those patients who should be referred for a full clinical assessment by a professional skilled in the management of dysphagia. This is a match for option C. We can also confirm that this is the correct answer by looking at why options A and B are incorrect. Here, it is stated that screening tests are based on identified risk factors not that the screening test monitors the risk of swallowing and speech problems. So option A is incorrect. Option B says that the screening test checks the levels of fluid restrictions for swallowing problems. And this is not mentioned in the text. And the only information to talk about restrictions is avoiding them if the procedure does not identify any problems. So option B is also incorrect. Top tips for reading part B. Read the context and questions carefully and notice the differences between the options. Then read the text quickly and find links to the options. Be careful of distractors. And it's a good idea to practice reading these types of texts by reading policies on websites and instruction manuals. So thanks for watching. If you would like more strategies and tips on how to prepare for the OET exam, check out our website. You can also find a handout to download which contains all the information we talked about on today's video. Links below. Please like and share so we can help more people achieve success in the OET exam. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!